Now that you've created your REDCap account, let's look at logging in, the REDCap homepage, and how you create a project. When you log in, you'll enter your username and password and click Login. This homepage will be your landing page when you first create your REDCap account. A note at the top reminds you that the UCD REDCap is only for IRB approved protocol data. If you have another kind of project that you want to use REDCap for, please contact REDCap at ucdenver.edu to see if you qualify for an exception. There's also a note on the page telling you what grant to cite when you publish a project that utilizes REDCap. On the My Projects page, you'll be able to see all the projects that you currently have access to. They'll be listed by project title and you'll be able to see the status of each project. The paper and pencil icon in the status column indicates that the project is still in development. A green check mark indicates that it's been moved to production, and a red circle with a white line means that it is inactive. You can also see the number of records, fields, instruments, and the type of project, whether a classic or basic red cap project or a longitudinal project. You also have the option to organize your project into folders. To do this, click on the Organize button. Here, you can name your folder and customize it. Then, select your folder over on the right and choose which projects you want to go in it. A project can go in more than one folder. Then, click Close and your projects will be organized. The Create New Projects page is where you'll go when you're ready to create a project. We'll come back to this one in a minute. The Training Resources tab contains a list of videos published by Vanderbilt. The reason that we ask you to do our training instead of just watching these videos is that they're a little bit older, and so the red cap you see in them doesn't necessarily look like the red cap in its current iteration. Having our own training videos also allows us to explain to you our particular red cap policies. However, these videos are a great resource if you just want a quick overview on how to do something later on. Finally, the Help and FAQ page. This is a list that is generated and maintained by the REDCap Consortium. It contains information on many frequently asked questions on how to do things in REDCap. It's particularly useful if you're doing things like calculated fields, branching logic, and piping that require a little bit of extra special formatting. This is a great resource if you just need to look something up. If you're using calculated fields or branching logic, REDCap also provides a link to this page in the area where you'll be placing your branching logic, calculated fields, etc. When you're ready to create a new project in REDCap, you'll go to the Create Project page. You'll begin by giving your project a title. If you know for certain what you're going to call your project, you can enter it now. If you're just creating a practice database to get familiar with REDCap, you can give it a simple title. For example, you can change this project title at any time. Next, you'll have to select the purpose of the project. If you created the project for practice, you'll want to select Practice or Just for Fun. There's also Operational Support, Research, which will be most of the projects you're using this REDCap for, Quality Improvement, or Other. Let's look at Research for just a minute. If you select Research, you'll be asked to provide some additional information. REDCap will ask for the name and contact information for the PI, the IRB number if you have it, you don't need your IRB number to start designing your database. You will only need it when you're ready to move to production and start collecting real data. You'll also be asked to specify the kind of research that you're doing. This is to help us track how REDCap is being used. For now, I'm going to switch the project back to practice just for fun. If I wanted to leave it as a research project, I'd have to actually specify a kind of research that I was doing. So we'll leave it at this for now. Next, you'll choose if you want to start the project from scratch or begin with a template. If you choose to create an empty project, the project will be created with just one form in it and just one field already in that form, the record ID. If you choose to use a template, REDCap will provide a project that comes pre-filled with fields, forms, or surveys, and some other settings. The only one of these templates I'm going to talk about today is the demographics template. The Demographics Template is a standard UCD-CHCO Demographics and Contact Information form. 
The benefit of using this form is that, if you use it without altering any of the fields or settings, when it comes time to submit the enrollment status on your IRB continuing review, you'll be able to use this template to create exactly what you need to submit for that. For now, I'm going to just create an empty project. I've entered in all the information I need, so I click on Create Project. And my project's ready to go. Now that we've created a REDCap project, let's see what the forms we're going to be building will look like and how we enter data into it.